Live starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Kyle Fzorski. Yesterday, many voters went to the polls for the April election. One of the questions on the area of voters was asked is that the school district of Elko could exceed Wisconsin revenue limit by $1 million per year for the three years, beginning in the 2022-2023 school year. The operational referendum passed with voters showing 57% support for the ballot question. News Watch 12's Matt Weir gives us a reaction from the district administrator. More than 80 school districts across Wisconsin had referendums on the ballot. About half of them were for operational funding, which has some people asking why there are so many. As long as the state has a funding formula the way it's currently structured, you're going to see districts having operating referendums. Stephanie Hubbard is the superintendent and director of special education for the Elko School District. She explained why it is a problem for so many Northwoods schools. The funding formula does not work for a district like Elko. Uh, we have high property value and uh, in the end the state doesn't contribute much. But the school has made efforts to tighten its spending. We actually had cut $600,000 in expenses off of, our, off of our budget. A lot of that was people. Um, so we have our people wearing a lot of different hats this year. So this funding can support staffing and educational programs. We want to use the money that the taxpayers are, are providing us to help improve instruction and to help improve things for our children. While a crowd of voters dissented, she wants to take productive steps forward. I want to learn more about why um, they were against it. I want to continue to have those conversations so that um, our community is all supportive of the school and we are doing the best we can as a greater community for our students. So with the money on its way, Elko can start to finalize specifics for its funding. Now we have a solution to this fiscal challenge and now we can really plan things for our future and that's exciting to me. But she wants residents to remember. We either need the state funding formula to change or we're going to need a um, to further another referendum. Reporting from Elko, Matt Weaver, Newswatch 12. Meteorologist Conrad Sapinski joins us now to give us a first glance at the forecast. Conrad, what's out there? Yeah, so now we are in that transition period. Some rain and snow, but pretty much on and off for now. But then tonight, as temperatures really cool off out there, we, it will start to transition into pretty much all snow out there. But look at this, folks. Lots and lots of moisture with this storm. This, the big piece of the storm, has moved on past. But look at this spinning column right over here. Yes, all that precipitation will still be lingering in the area tonight into tomorrow. And pretty much mostly as some snow, as the future cast does show that transition becoming all snow overnight. And then mixing back with some rain tomorrow as temperatures rise from the mid to even upper 30s. But then, hey, some more snow on the back end with cooler temperatures. So not a big snowmaker, but a couple inches definitely out here in Rhinelander as temperatures are pretty cool out there and now they've dropped to the mid 30s out here in Rhinelander Eagle River as well a little bit warmer in Iron Mountain and Green Bay out there but in general we are starting to cool down and we will continue to cool down close to the freezing mark overnight okay thanks Conrad Educators say it's always good to prepare for real life scenarios because you never know what is going to happen on any particular day. Students at the Nicolet Area Technical College had the opportunity to do just that today. Students from several different academic areas as well as mental health care professionals all came together to a staged emergency dealing with a suicidal and intoxicated individual. Instructors say communication and teamwork is the most important thing when dealing with a situation like this. Michael Gudelli is a second semester nursing student at Nicolay College who is glad to see the community come together for the simulation. It's really heartwarming to be part of an event um, where you can see community members come together to care for one another. Mental health includes our emotional, physiological, and self-well-being, which affects how people think, feel, and act. Dahlia St. Louis teaches nursing at Nicolet and says overall mental health conditions are declining. I would see that the trend for mental health crises or diseases are increasing. 
If you are dealing with mental health issues, the Mental Health Crisis Line offers 24-7 services. You can reach them at 888-299-1188. Staying on campus, the newly remodeled manufacturing labs and classrooms at Nicolay College will be, will be on full display during a public open house. The $2.2 million upgrade has created a state-of-the-art training facility for students enrolled in Nicolay's welding, electrical mechanical technology, industrial maintenance mechanic, industrial electronics technician, and industrial mechanical technician programs. The college will also launch a new metal fabrication program this spring, followed by a new forestry maintenance program, with a launch date to be determined for the forestry maintenance program at a later time. The new facility will have an open house Wednesday, April 13th from 4.30 to 7 p.m., where attendees can enjoy beer, wine, appetizers, networking, and a tour of the new facility, as well as a listening session from speaker Michael Critcher about the future of manufacturing. The University of Wisconsin Whitewater's interim chancellor said he resigned over the UW system's leader decision to question students about free speech rights. Jim Henderson abruptly resigned Monday, offering little explanation beyond that he felt he could no longer help recruit the best person to fill the position permanently. He told the Wisconsin State Journal that he was upset over interim system president Michael Falbo's decision to send out the survey after initially deciding that institutions wouldn't do so. Henderson said he was worried students were tired of questionnaires and a free speech survey wasn't crucial at UW-Whitewater because students are exposed to a variety of voices. UW system officials plan to email the survey to undergraduates at all 13 public universities today. Students have until May 6th to complete it. Coming up after the break, the United County Health Department helped a walk-in clinic for those eligible for the second booster shot. Why health officials say elderly immunocompromised people should get the second booster. Plus, Conrail will be back with a full forecast right here on Newswatch 12. People have been wondering, but it's really what Lindsay's gotten into, Planet Fitness. And now through April 14th, you can join for only $1 down and $10 a month. Join now and feel fit-tacular for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. But hurry, deal ends Thursday, April 14th. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's biggest sale ever and receive free carpet installation along with an additional $300, $600, or even $1,000 of savings on all flooring products and sale prices. That's right, free carpet installation and an additional savings of up to $1,000 on top of the sale prices. See why contractors and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. Our prices will blow. Lake of the Torches Resort Casino. You can count on us for all the hottest slots inside. Sun dappled water outside. Enjoyment comes naturally here with abundant homestyle foods, the most exciting promotions, and the new Lake Club that rewards you for playing. At Lake of the Torches Resort Casino, expect the best of everything every time you visit. Winning's more fun at the lake. Dylan, how's that sofa you can't return from that big internet site? Honestly, not that great. Well, Slumberland can help. It's our biggest finance sales event of the year. Just $20 a month will get you a gorgeous sectional, a three-piece bedroom group, when you spend $1,200 and pay no interest for five years. No way. How about kicking back in this luxury leather power recliner for just $25 a month? And come to Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've reinvented mattress shopping. People have been wondering, but it's really what Lindsay's gotten into, Planet Fitness. And now through April 14th, you can join for only $1 down and $10 a month. Join now and feel fit-tacular for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel anytime. But hurry, deal ends Thursday, April 14th. Welcome back and happy Wednesday, everyone. So not the nicest weather out there today, with some rain and snow showers uh, pretty much starting to linger right now, but for the most part, still pretty much green. So coming down as some rain right now, but as temperatures drop tonight, it will start to transition back to some snow. But look how much moisture is with this storm. Still lots of rotating moisture out here, so this will be lingering for another day or so. So still some precipitation, a fall as some snow overnight tonight. Then back to a mixture of rain and snow tomorrow as temperatures 
rise from the mid to even upper 30s, but then some snow on the back and as temperatures dip back into the 20s. So pretty much an on and off rain and snow from now until Friday morning. So we're thinking a couple inches out here. One, this radar is showing around two inches here in Rhinelander. Same in Eagle River, Lando Lake. So pretty much a widespread dusting to three inches of snow for most places. Out here in Rhinelander, more of like a one to three uh, for now, it's locally uh, heavier snowfall uh, expected with temperatures being lower and those heavier bands starting to set up north and south of us. But right now, temperatures earlier were pretty warm out there. 42 in Rhinelander, Anago at 44. Look at Iron Mountain coming in at 50 degrees and Green Bay at 53 degrees. So real mild temperatures out there earlier today as we did have that south wind blow from this side, from the east side of the storm. And it was move, bringing all of those warmer temperatures out there earlier today. Our average is 48, so we weren't quite there, but we're pretty close to that and we will be exceeding that in the next couple days as some warmer temperatures come by Sunday. But right now, still pretty cool out there into the mid 30s for most of us. So finally, those 40s have cooled on out to the mid 30s. So now pretty much a transition period with, with some rain, some snow starting to mix in and then becoming all snow overnight as temperatures really plummet out there. Winds not looking too bad out there either right now. Pretty much 10 to 15 miles an hour like Marshfield coming in at 17. Wisconsin Rapids at 14 here in Rhinelander at 9 and Anigo at 10 miles per hour. So not looking too bad right now, but the wind gusts will be picking up by Friday as the storm moves on out and look at the wind blowing from the north. So that will bring those cooler temperatures and those windy conditions by Friday. But for now, 31 degrees tonight with some rain and snow continuing, becoming all snow overnight as temperatures start to drop below freezing. Tomorrow, temperatures pretty much in the mid to even upper 30s with some on and off rain shower, uh, rain and snow showers and then becoming all snow once again overnight. So we're thinking a couple inches out here, but our big seven day outlook does show that warmer temperature trend starting Sunday back into the 50s. Kyle? Thanks, Conrad. Some promising news from the World Health Organization reports that COVID-19 deaths are declining. The new numbers coming from the WHO's weekly update. Global weekly cases are down 16% and global deaths decreased by 43% compared to the week before. The WHO says there was an artificial spike in deaths the week before because of COVID-19 definition changes in some areas. 489 million cases of COVID-19 have been reported globally as of April 3rd. South Korea has the highest number of new cases followed by Germany, France, Vietnam and Italy. The United States reported the highest number of new weekly deaths. The WHO noted these trends come as countries change COVID-19 testing strategies. Almost 100 area residents got their second COVID-19 booster shot today. The United County Health Department held a walk-in clinic for those eligible for the second booster. The only, only a small group of Americans are eligible for the second booster right now. Those include people age 50 and older who have received their first booster shot at least four months ago. One couple who received the second booster hopes the booster will protect themselves as well as others. We keep ourselves vaccinated as soon as it becomes available. We don't want to be responsible for getting other people sick, killing some of the old folks we hang out with. Cohen says he and his spouse both had COVID and that his wife was in critical condition for a while. Rebecca Wolt, a public health nurse at the United County Health Department, recommends everyone who is eligible get the second booster shot. We're seeing that, you know, booster shots are effective against the Omicron uh, variant. However, um, they do have waning immunity over time. So it is important, especially for those 50 and older or immunocompromised individuals um, to get the booster because they are at more risk of severe infection from COVID. The United County Health Department will have another walk-in clinic tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. No criminal charges will be filed in the fatal police shooting of Army Lot at a Minneapolis apartment in, Febru in early February. The Minneapolis Attorney General said there is not enough evidence to file charges against the Minneapolis police officer who shot and killed 22-year-old Lot during the execution of a controversial no-knock warrant. What you're seeing is a brief video from a body cam of Locke's shooting. It shows an officer quietly sliding a key into the apartment's door. After the door opens, a group of officers rush in, yelling commands. Locke appears to have been sleeping on a couch and then starts to rise, wrapping, 
himself in a blanket and holding a gun. Then at that moment, police opened fire and killed Locke. His family said Locke legally owned the gun. Police went to the apartment looking for a murder suspect. In response to the death of Locke, though, no-knock warrants, search warrants will soon be prohibited in Minneapolis in a policy issued by the mayor's office on Tuesday. The application for and the execution of all no-knock search warrants by the Minneapolis Police Department will be prohibited starting April 8th. A no-knock search warrant authorizes an officer to enter a premises without knocking and without announcing the officer's presence or purpose prior to entering. The new policy requires officers to repeatedly knock and announce their presence as well as their purpose before entering the premises. Included in the policy states that officers must wait 20 seconds before entering for all warrants, and they must wait 30 seconds for warrants executed between 8 p.m. and 7 a.m. The woman from Sheboygan Falls accused of killing her eight-year-old son last month is facing charges of intentional homicide and attempted homicide. Natalia Hitchcock was in court Monday morning for her initial court appearance as attorneys finally begin to reveal the details of this tragedy. Mary J. Ola has more. State of Wisconsin versus Natalia Hitchcock. Natalia Hitchcock walked into the Sheboygan County Court Tuesday charged with killing her 8-year-old son and attempting to kill her 11-year-old son. At times, it was emotional as Hitchcock turned back I'd like to raise the issue of competency. And spoke directly to her husband of 15 years. His brother tried to comfort him. Investigators say Hitchcock strangled and killed her son Oliver and tried to drown her other son. We're talking about crimes of absolute violence. She's also committed these crimes as alleged against her two children. According to a criminal complaint, Hitchcock's husband told police his mother-in-law lives in Russia and that he worried about Hitchcock's mental state as she watched coverage of the war between Russia and Ukraine. The complaint states the day before Oliver was hurt, Hitchcock's older son said she tried to hold him down underwater in the bathtub. Law enforcement noted that Hitchcock told them she had not been sleeping well for several days and began to have thoughts the Russian government was going to take her children and abuse them and that her husband was trying to sell her and the boys to the dark web. There is an issue of competency in this case. Prior to this incident, the defendant had no prior record at all for criminal justice. Hitchcock said a few words to her husband as she was escorted out. Can I have the complaint on that? Coming up, we'll have a look at the current gas price situation hitting the nation. Stick with us. We'll be right back. We are back this weekend, the 37th annual WJJQ Home Show with Health Expo, Saturday 9 to 4 and Sunday 10 to 3 at the Tomahawk School Complex. Admission is free from Northwoods 92.5 WJJQ. I come here to do homework because they have free Wi-Fi. They don't say anything as long as I buy something. When there's a lot of noise, it's hard to focus. But I listen to music to try and drown it out. When the Wi-Fi cuts out, I can't finish my homework. That's why I started getting dues. Millions of children rely on public Wi-Fi to study. U.S. Cellular is donating up to $13 million in hotspots to help youth in need. Because every child deserves the same opportunity to learn. Start your outdoor project now and save 11% at Menards. The 10 by 12 foot Arlington metal storage shed from Aero Storage Products is perfect for all your storage needs. Now it's $649.98 after 11% rebate. Help divert water away from your foundation with gutter systems from Spectra. We've got gutters, guards, and everything else to keep your basement dry. Right now, easy to install downspot extensions are half off at $448 after sale price and 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Is a new roof on your spring to-do list? Hi, I'm Paul, owner of Overhead Solutions. Now is a great time to think ahead and secure a spot for that replacement on our schedule. Go ahead and call our competitors, but before you sign on that dotted line, call Overhead Solutions. I believe our high quality and fair price can beat our competition. Call Overhead Solutions for a free roof estimate. Remember, don't overpay. Call Overhead, Overhead Solutions. We are back this weekend, the 37th annual WJJQ Home Show with Health Expo, Saturday 9 to 4 and Sunday 10 to 3 at the Tomahawk School Complex. Admission is free from Northwoods 92.5 WJJQ. 
And welcome back. Gas prices have steadied out at this time, but that doesn't mean they are back to normal. Governors across the country are scrambling for ways to help ease the pain at the pump. Eva Meckend reports in the midst of an election year why the stakes are so high. Across the country, governors from both parties scrambling to address the skyrocketing cost of gas amid record inflation. Social Security payments aren't going up like my gas and fuel prices are. States flush with cash from solid economic growth and federal COVID relief funds flowing to them, fueling tax revenues that have left many states with big surpluses. In California, where gas prices are the highest in the nation, Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom, facing re-election this year, proposing $11 billion in relief by way of $400 debit cards and free rides on public transit. In Maryland, Republican Governor Larry Hogan signed legislation enacting a 30-day suspension of the state's gas tax and has said he supports extending it to 90 days. In Georgia, Republican Governor Brian Kemp signing an income tax refund bill into law, more than a billion dollars in refunds to eligible Georgians in the coming weeks. That's relief for one Georgia driver. I was one of the people that was out of work for 15 months. Um, I work in hospitality, so I just got back to work uh, in January. So, you know, every, every little bit helps. But Governor Kemp's Trump-backed Republican challenger David Perdue calls the refund an election year giveaway, a desperate attempt to get votes. Kemp's 2018 opponent and likely Democratic nominee in this year's race, Stacey Abrams, argues states are generally doing so well because of additional funds that were sent to them by the federal government. I want us to remember... It's not who put their name on the card, it's who bought the gift. And while there might be a K name on the card, it's Biden and Warnock who got the money here. And I hear it wherever I go. What can you do to help? We tried to do something. In Connecticut, Democratic Governor Ned Lamont, who is also up for re-election this year, says the bipartisan legislation he signed into law to halt the gas tax for three months and suspend bus fares will make a difference. If you're a single mom, it costs you three bucks to each way to go get uh, groceries. Make life a little more affordable for you as well. University of New Haven political science professor Chris Haynes says for Democrats who are already facing a tough midterm environment, these mitigation strategies may not do much to change their electoral prospects. What Americans care about in terms of elections are broader perceptions of the economy, how they think the economy is doing, not necessarily how they're doing individually economically. And so even if they do get these benefits and they feel these benefits, it may not redound to the benefit of the politicians that are passing them. Should Democrats be concerned? Oh, look, you should always be concerned. You always run scared if it's a political year. Look, I come out of the business world. In our world, if you don't listen to the consumer, you're dead. Now I'm in the political world. If you don't listen to the voters and at least try and address their concerns and explain what you're doing and why you're doing it and how you can ease their pain a little bit, you pay a price. At Johnsonville, we ask crazy questions every day. Like, what if we made strips of sausage that look like bacon? Would they taste better than bacon? Turns out, one in four Americans like Johnsonville sausage strips better than bacon. Then we asked... Can someone who likes sausage strips better than bacon still be considered American? Then we remembered. You can't spell sausage without USA. Johnsonville sausage strips, better than bacon, and possibly more American. Stone Innovations, home of Wisconsin's largest granite and quartz selection, is now featuring the best stone shopping experience in the state. Our brand new indoor facility allows for a home-like, comfortable atmosphere. Choose from hand-picked stone from around the world and select the perfect look for your dream kitchen in the best lighting possible. Then sit down with our free design services to customize the look of your kitchen. Our projects come with a lifetime warranty. Stone Innovations, Wisconsin's granite and quartz leader. Appleton, Rhinelander, Clover, Madison. At Rasmussen University, we're giving you the green light to earn your nursing or healthcare degree from a national leader in healthcare education. We offer over 15 healthcare and nursing programs taught by industry experts. And at Rasmussen University, we're with you every step of the way, before and after graduation. It's your move. Get going at one of our 23 campuses or online at rasmussen.edu. At Rasmussen University, green means go.
Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg celebrates spring by making you a hoppy camper. When you win one of two Bushwhacker camper trailers on Saturday, April 30th, four big drawings. Our 8 p.m. winner can choose camper number one or choose six grand in cash. Our 9 p.m. winner gets to take home whichever remains. And at 10 p.m., camper number two or choose eight grand in cash. And finally, the 11 p.m. winner gets to take whatever's left, either the cash or the camper. See the rewards code for details. Must be 21 or over to play. Hoppy Spring from Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. I grew up working in my family's supper clubs. This is where it started with us as far as the fish that we serve at Culver's today. We source the finest cod and batter each filet by hand and always cook it to order. That beautiful golden brown color and flaky on the inside. The fish fry is a Midwest tradition. It's about families coming together. I love bringing this tradition to guests everywhere. Mom and Dad would be proud. Welcome to Delicious. All right, so we got some rain and snow out there right now, but pretty much light and on and off. But as temperatures drop tonight, it will start to trans transition to some rain and snow and then become all snow tonight. And then tomorrow back to a rain and snow mix and then back to snow on the back end. So a lot of mixing going on, but we're thinking around a couple inches out here, maybe a one to three incher locally heavier amounts. But look at those 50s back in the forecast starting Sunday. So finally, some nicer weather is back in the forecast. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, thanks, Conrad. NBC Nightly News is next. Meet us back here at 6.